yeah, um, after getting rid of um, the flavs and um, the RTMs, I've moved some fish about. So um, in here I've got the Mel um I've got a little uh, Rio del Oro um, Islam, which is a spur. And uh, there was one uh, flav that I missed that managed to hide when I was um, scooping the rest of them up for the uh, customer. But yeah, a little tiny one. But yeah, that'll be um, coming soon as well. I'll be giving that to someone. But um, yeah, this line is going to be going as well. So yeah, just to... Um, Grimaldi's going to be kept from this tank. Um, and in this one here, um, I had to, well, I've got an order from a few different places for the Cubans. So, um, because the male always ends up eating them and starts chasing them about, they start hiding, it makes them a nightmare to pull. So, literally, they just started turning into fry from wigglers. And I know it's better to pull them as fry than at that stage, but um, I couldn't chance it. So, I just literally pulled them. And uh, put them in a little two foot on their own. No, no, I don't need that uh, tower sponge, but um, just to keep it cycled anyway. There's the rest of them still there that haven't started free swimming yet. There's literally tons for Cubans. As people have said before, they don't have the biggest ones normally. As you can see, there's easily 500 there. It was over a hundred just there. Look at that. I have to set this tank up today. I've just uh, drained the water straight from the parents' tank. But um, where the RTMs were, I've just got um, one uh, F2 Bayama Cuba um, Tetrapanthus or Cuban Cichlid. Again, it's one of the spares I keep. This one's about over six inch and only just lost a, a red tinge to its fins. Over here, got the Cubans. A bit pissed off at me because I pulled the fry. This pair and the other one I just showed you were from the original um, lot that I bought the original for. All F2. Excuse the smears on the tank. see anything with this tank because it's the Islanan tank and they hide it pretty much whenever you go near the tank with a the camera there you can see the male log just about but yeah this little tank is doing well this is a little custom tank that someone had specially made Really good quality tanks, it goes way better than the Flugels and Jules. And the female's probably in that little um, hide there. But yeah, they've um, definitely spawned because um, I see them both with their um, spawning tubes down. So yeah, this will be, um, I'll be growing this batch out. There's the little female there. But, um, yeah, that's about it really. Um, I can do a quick one in the bean eye, but um, let's see.
Yeah, so this is um, the eight foot, well, just under eight foot, with the B my and um, silver dollars in there. But yeah, as you can see, I've only got the, the middle light on. There's um, three, um, oh, what are they called? Fluval Aqua Skies in there, a four foot one, and um, in the middle. And then on either side of that, I've got the next size down. But yeah, I've um, left the light on. These are just spawning again. You see the females in there. Oh, you can't see it here, but females down there on the right end of the tank inside of the pot. Yeah, these are all kept up this end to the centre and backwards. But yeah. I've been feeding these up all week on um, earthworms and crickets. But yeah, just a quick one. Cheers.